Last week we talked about using paper to make paper sculptures and we talked about how to fold the paper and how to cut the paper so that it actually comes off of the page. This week you have a task of making an actual object that comes off of the page just like we see here. This right here is what I made. I made a tree. If you would like to make a tree you can follow along with the video and it will take you step by step on how to make this. However, you do not have to make a tree. You can make anything you want, as long as it is using some of these paper sculpture techniques. You can use other ones that you know about that I did not teach you. Enjoy and show me what you make. Thanks. Hello there. This week we are going to be using our lesson from last week on the different techniques of making paper sculptures, and we are going to try to apply those to make a tree. Now, for your project, you do not have to make a tree, but I want you to see how you can use different techniques to make something that you want to make. You might make an animal, you might make a car or a motorcycle or a house, or you might make a tree like me. It's really up to you. So I have um, some brown paper for my tree trunk. Now, if you don't have brown paper, you can either color brown paper or just make your tree an artsy tree that's a completely different color than what it should be. Remember that you do not have to use construction paper. You can use plain white paper. You can also use newspaper that comes in the mail. Okay, the extra ads or those types of things. Now you will need glue. You will also need scissors. And you will probably need something to wrap it around if you are going to make a tree like I am. So I'm going to keep mine nice and simple and I'm going to start by rolling my paper and I want to roll as much of my green as possible. These will be the branches and leaves. Now some of them I'm going to make them really tight and then some of them I'm going to make them um, a little bit looser. I want them to be different kinds because we're going to use those uh, to give some form to our branches and our leaves. Now if you pull it back out, it'll straighten it some. Did you see how I did that? Let me show you one more time. I rolled it up, but then as I pulled it out, I pulled it this way. So that way it's got some curl, but not a tiny curl. If I want it to be a tiny curl, then I just loop it around and I hold it as tight as I can and I slide it down my pen and off like this. Okay, that'll give me a tight curl. So you'll have to decide what kind of curls you want. You probably want all different kinds. Now my paper is pretty thick as far as the width of it. Yours doesn't have to be that thick. You can make yours really thin. Um, you could even use different shapes. Like say you want a palm tree, then you would use one of those uh, teardrop types of shapes where your palm branch wouldn't be a straight line, but it would be a sad face with a happy face. Okay. Let me just do maybe one or two more. And then we're going to glue these onto our brown paper. Got all different lengths and all different kinds. Now, this is my tree trunk, okay? If you wanna make it vertical, then you're a really tall one, you're gonna need a wider piece of paper. I'm gonna make mine short. So before I roll it, I'm going to glue these on so they're on the inside of the tree. And if I want my branches to go out, I'm gonna have them go different directions. But I wanna remember that this is going to roll up like this. So I'm gonna to have to think about which direction I want my branches to go. They can go both ways and they can go all sorts of wacky ways too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on, let's see. Well, I'm gonna have to put it on the outside of it. So I'm gonna bend it over gently like this and put a nice thick spot on the outside of my tree because it's gonna overlap each other, right? And then I'm gonna roll it because the more glue I have, the better it'll hold together. But I'm just gonna roll it, kind of take my finger and smash that in so the glue sticks a little bit roll it some more and keep rolling it until I get to this end spot. Oops, part of my tree came off. I didn't glue it down well enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. There, now it'll stick. And then I'm gonna put another layer of glue right about here. And this I wanna press down nice and well because that's what's holding my whole tree together. Now, if some of your branches came out like mine did, no big deal. Since they're curled, we can just stuff them back in like this. Hold on to that, let them stick together a little bit more. This tree trunk, let's see, where can I stick this? Oh, I see a spot. Oh my goodness, look at this fun tree. Okay, now we're not done yet because even though we've made a great tree that stands up, it doesn't stand up by itself. It's gonna fall over if I let loose. I want to kind of make a base for it. And so now we're gonna use one of our techniques and we're gonna use that hinge and cut some slits right along the bottom. Just like I am here. The more slits you have, the rounder your tree will stay. If you cut really big wide slits like that, then your tree won't want to stay round. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold all of those flaps out. See like this one, it starts to flatten my paper. So I'm gonna actually cut that and make it less of a flap. There we go. Okay, once all my flaps are folding out, now I can glue those flaps down onto my paper. So now I've got to carefully put glue on each of those flaps. My fingers might get a little bit messy, but that's part of art. It's okay to get messy in art. We've learned about that before too. Okay, now when I go to hold it down, I'm gonna push down nice and hard. Look at those tree branches trying to come back out. I'm gonna have to fix that. Now I've gotta hold this down for at least 10 seconds. We know how glue needs time to stick. That's why my branches came out is because we didn't do that 10 second roll. So I'm pushing down on all of my flaps. Down here at the bottom, if you can see, I'm trying to show you. Right here down at the bottom, I'm sticking all those flaps down. Kind of test it a little bit. Oh, it's starting to stick. It still needs a little bit more sticking time. So I'm just gonna keep pushing down hard on all of those little flaps. Okay, now we're ready to stick these guys back in. Hey, now. Put some glue right there. And I'm gonna find a special spot for that to stick into. And I'm gonna hold it down nice and well. That way it sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh, my finger stuck to the glue. There we go. Now let's go ahead and do that with these ones. Let's find a spot for this one. Let's find a spot for this one. I'm actually gonna fold this in half so I've got a better spot for it to fit in. Just like this. Oh, look at that. Perfect. There is my fun, crazy tree. Maybe I should put a monkey in this tree, huh? Enjoy, I can't wait to see what kind of paper sculptures you guys come up with.